everybody, it's Heather again with Erasers Earplugs, and thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you why erasers are different than other earplugs that are on the market today. So in the past, you've probably had the foam squishy kind that you can squeeze together and stick in your ear and expand. That more or less blacks the sound. You might have experienced an earplug that's sort of like a stick with a filter on the outside of it, and that's good hearing protection. Not always the most comfortable, doesn't fit well under a helmet, doesn't work well with a cell phone or a pillow, that sort of thing. Or you might have gone all the way to a custom pair, which can cost you about $185 to $330. That's really good too, but I'm going to show you why we're different than all of those. So with erasers, we're a medical grade silicone earplug. Right and left, for uh, we have a red one for the right and a blue one for the left, so you can tell them apart because there is a patented design on them. The reason that we're different is because if you look at this chart here, the blue line represents the average open ear. Now again, that's for an average person. The red is the harmful and uncomfortable. So what you want to do with noise-induced hearing loss is really focus on this range right here, where, the, where it overlaps. Now if you're wearing a squishy foam, you're going to be all the way down here. Like I mentioned before, that's more of a blocker. That's good if you're trying to block the sound, but not if you're trying to hear it clearly. If you look at the green line right here, that is an earplug with a 20 dB reduction. If you look at the purple line, you'll see that's an earplug with a 15 dB reduction. What I want you to notice about all of them, from the foam to the stick off the shelf, and even to the custom pair with a 15 filter, is that they follow your natural hearing like this. The reason they do that is because they're flat attenuators. So if you're dropping 15 or 20 decibels, they'll be doing it at all the frequencies. As soon as you put it in, the reduction will take place. Now what we hear from musicians and from music enthusiasts, that's not always what they want. Losing too much of your lows and too much of your highs tends to make you pull your earplug out and not want to wear it, so we don't want that. Our aim here at Erasers was to go ahead and focus on this range right here, the noise induced hearing loss range, without taking away your lows or your highs. So we've actually brought that back in and if you look at the white line, from a thousand hertz and below, we stay as close to the natural hearing as possible. When your ear begins to naturally resonate, that's when we drop 19.2 decibels. We only drop 11 at about 8,000. That brings back your S's and T's in speech and also your symbols. So rather than a flat attenuation, like everyone else, we've created a flat frequency response. Very different approach. Thanks for stopping by. Check out our other videos where you'll learn how to clean your erasers and some of the accessories that we have. Also check out a little bit about our company if you haven't seen that video yet. Thanks for stopping by.